Alright, how you guys doing? Coming at you live here from Wicked Warnings, your number one source for construction and emergency safety strobe lighting equipment for cars, vans, buses, bicycles, tricycles, SUVs, pickup trucks like this 2021 Chevrolet Silverado 2500 HD. This particular truck has a halogen lamp package. No big deal, because we weren't doing any flashing with that. What we did do is backlit that Chevrolet grill. Now, I've done this once before, and I had so much of a demand for it that, uh, as I said in the previous video, if you want me to do this, you got to come to Chicago. This is not something I can do as a DIY kit. However, because you all were harassing me so much last time, I did add a lot of detail at the end of this vi video. So. You can see everything I used. I'm gonna link you to the exact light that we used from e-trailer. This particular build is an upgrade over the last one. The last one I did was an incandescent trailer light because it was all I could get at the time. Oh, truck's really smart. Turns it off after a little while because the keys aren't in and it's not running. Let me fix that. Well, that's better. So this time I had a little bit more lead time and I was able to order some LED lights for behind the grill and i was able to make up a plug and play connector for the headlight so this is a cutlass install plug and plays right into the driver's side headlight and there are nine leds in that grill they are uh, four by two i think and they're mounted up on some abs plastic and the entire amp draw for this is 0.7 so it ties right into the factory parking circuit. Truck doesn't even know it's there. 0.7 amps, you can run them all day and all night. Not gonna have any really ill effects on the truck. And I set it up with the plug and play to just come on automatically with the parking lights of the truck. So no switches, no drilling holes, no running wire in the firewall, popped it right in. And if you wanted to take the grill off the truck, you can unplug it from the headlight, remove the entire grill with the new lights and not have any wiring uh, messing around or cutting. I kind of went through a couple of different versions of how to do this grill. On one of my previous videos, you'll notice I did a multicolor grill and they get a lot of color in here outside the logo. So I tried this one with the strip lighting. I have amber strip lighting like that multicolor and I ran it all in here and I sealed it off and what I found was it just wasn't bright enough. You really couldn't see it. It would probably be okay at night, but for this deep orange color to be visible during the day and head on like this from a good distance away, you really need a light behind there. You need to, to put the light and then mount it on the plastic the way the watch at the end of the video. I'll show you. So uh, that's what it looks like. There's your extreme close up. You can kind of see those lights mounted back behind there. There's one for every letter. We center it up as best we can behind the letter. That's as good as it's going to get. That's how I did it. So I hope this video helps you out. I hope if you want to do something like this, you'll head on over here and let me do it. I can go ahead and get you in and out with reasonable amount of time. This doesn't take a tremendous long time for me to put one of these together. And I will say, if you're interested in this, Give us an email, info, I-N-F-O, at wickedwarnings.com. Going to need an email, going to have to schedule a visit. Otherwise, pay attention to the rest of the video and tackle it on your own. But please, please, for love of everything, don't call me and ask me how to do this. I'm putting everything I have in the video, so I'm giving it all to you. I won't have any secret sauce to give you over the phone. This is everything I got on this build. It's going out the door today, so... Thanks again for watching Wicked Warnings, your number one source for construction and emergency safety strobe lighting equipment. Your number one source for accent lighting just like this, whether it be RGB color wash for the entire grill or specifically amber in the logo only, we can take care of you. Give us an email, info at wickedwarnings.com. Let us know your project, send in some photos, and we'll get right back with you. Don't forget to stay tuned for all the info that I have on this build. Coming up right now. All right, guys, a little bit of detail on this uh, Chevrolet backlit grill you all wanted to know about. So step one, remove the grill. You can see here how we have done it. You don't need to take anything more apart than what we have here to remove the grill. 
Now, come right over here to the workbench where I'm working on this. I got it set up on some blankies, make it nice and comfortable. First thing we did right in here is remove the center support and file this off nice and smooth so we can get a nice even lit behind here. So you remove that. Now you can see I've got some ABS plastic. This is just quarter inch ABS plastic, pretty easily found. I'm experimenting between two widths on this one. I'm gonna go with either something a little bit more recessed, something like this, or I might drop it down a little bit and go down and further in there like that. So stay tuned, I'll show you what I end up doing going to be mounting some amber lights to the back of this panel and then the panel acts as a light stop and then we fill it all in and make sure that no light gets through so we don't have any orange light on the other sides of the grill that's how we're going to end up backlighting only the logo okay guys so i fit the plastic i did go with the smaller plastic it actually fit in there pretty nice as you can see i've lined up all the lights on the abs plastic and this is what we're working with right here We've got all of these lights here, all right, centered them up all behind the letters as best I could, popped the lens off, screwed them in the ABS plastic with some stainless steel screws under the lens. We're going to flip this whole assembly forward. It's going to nestle nicely right down in this groove right here, okay. We've cleaned out with a die grinder everywhere we needed to, and now we're going to hit this with a little bit of industrial hot melt to secure it and seal up any other light stops basically just hit some industrial hot melt in the corners to secure this in here and then apply your power and ground over here alrighty so here we are uh, after the hot melt you can see I'm just uh, kind of popping it into the corners there locking this all in give it the spider webs I was debating covering up all the wiring, but it's nice and tight and completely waterproof, so I might just leave it, because uh, you don't see it really. Um, I could put some headlights and tape over it, cover it up, but I don't think I'm going to do that. I did put a little strip of tape here through the middle. I found if you split this in two, it's better. It, it's easier because, believe it or not, when uh, when I tried to make this thing out of one piece, the grill has a slight curve to it, and it kind of became a pain in the ass. So um, I split it in two, worked out nice. Your, your results may vary if you want to trim it and try to get that perfect arc go for it over here got my power and ground set up measured my amp draw on all nine lights all together guess what 0.75 amps 0.75 amps so next thing i'm gonna do is i'm gonna make me a plug and play connector right here for this wire to go in behind the headlight okay and that way this wire plug right in behind the headlight there for marker signal and this grill will be automatically turned on when the marker lights are on that's step two in this process oh almost forgot here's a tiny sneak peek okay so you can see what it looks like before it goes in i know if i want to see it oh my god show me the grill show me the grill oh my god show me the grill there see all those lights in there light it up now this will also ever so slightly appear amber when they're off but very very subtle if any amber color when they're off in a bright very visible amber here with the shop lights on in the full bright shop um definitely day daytime visibility this this is a see it in the sun kind of setup here so i'm real satisfied with how this turned out all right everybody so grill is back installed we've ran our wiring right over here here you can see over at the driver's side headlight i've went ahead and made up a quick plug and play connector that way if we ever got to pop this grill off no problem we can pop it off by taking this off the headlight itself we're not cutting any factory wires to add this grill no need to cut that when we can make up a plug and play you can see here which molex 150 this was pretty easily found and interrupted right here the parking and the ground I just by bypassed right through the other six in orange. Sorry about the focus. There we go. Nice and heat shrink. I'm gonna wrap this up with Tesla tape. Gonna plug it in between here and see if this works. Hey, hey, success. So I must have found the right wires. As you can see here, we've got our four-way flashers going just to make sure we don't have any erroneous flashing of the Chevrolet logo, but it turned out pretty nice, pretty orange. 
matches up quite nicely with everything. And this is a full LED, as I said, 0.3, uh, 0.75, three quarter of an amp load. So I have it tied in currently to the marker lights. So we didn't have to run a switch or any of that stuff. When the front marker lights come on, the Chevrolet logo illuminates. And I hadn't tried this yet, but let's see what happens here. Oh no, because it uh, actually flashes the signals. So, yeah, unlocking it uh, won't do it. I guess maybe if we open the doors, is that when it turns on? Nope, okay, it must be Ford's when you open the door, the parking lights come on, because this one's not doing it, or a different trim. Anyways, parking lights on, good to go. Time to put this sucker back together and get some dark shots here in the shop and see what it looks like. Yeah, all right, there's your put back together hood closed shot. Yeah, that turned out real nice, Clark. Real nice. Yeah, that's a real nice.